Hello everybody, this is Tasha Fierce. Today I will be making a video with my full face with makeup, including some of the items that I got from my Ipsy Glam Bag from the last video, because I feel like I just kind of rushed and put it on and it wasn't really like, hey, what does this really look like? So I'm going to start completely from scratch. I've already, you know, washed my face and everything like that. So I'm going to start with the Pixie eyeshadow. I like to do my eyeshadow first because if it gets messy and it gets like down here and everything like that, um, it's easier to clean up when there's not foundation or anything on your eyes or on your face. So first I'm going to put um, eye primer on because it tends to make the color last longer and stay on and everything like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the lighter color of the eyeshadow and I'm going to put that all over my lids. Also, this is the brush that I also got in the Ipsy Glam Bag. it's like a slight pink um, I feel like it kind of blends in with my skin but if if I'm trying to do like just a natural look and I'm not trying to be too um, flamboyant or anything then I like it it's like a um, just a subtle a subtle shimmer also I feel like it kind of covers up my uh, panda eyes <laughs> okay now I'm going to take the darker color and I'm going to kind of make it look like a uh, honestly I don't even know what this is called I just call it like ombre eyes <laughs> but basically like go in the crease of where your eyeball and the brow bone is and then kind of like a little triangle type thing right along here and then I'll be blending that out so in the crease also I kind of like to be a little wild with my eyeliner so a lot of the A lot of the darkness comes from my eyeliner. I just want the the shadows there, you know. take my fluffy brush kind of blend it out
Okay. I think I need a bigger magnifying or a bigger mirror because I'm using that tiny little mirror that I had in the last video and I feel like I'm so used to using a mirror from the sink in the, in the bathroom that tiny little mirror I'm like oh am I gonna get everything we'll just assume that I did okay so that's that's the eyeshadow. Um, blend it a bit more. And then like I said earlier, I'll be adding like like eyeliner. So it'll be a bit, you know, it's obviously it's not finished. All right, so now I'm putting my foundation on. And I go between like this soft top kind of brush to like a moist sponge. I mean it really depends on what I'm trying to get from my foundation. Like this one is just kind of like a low coverage. It's, it's basically like hey you have foundation on but you're not trying to like stunt on people so this is just like lowest coverage um, I'm not really trying to make it so obvious that I'm wearing foundation because I do like that um natural look of foundation or of my face in the summertime <laughs> so when it's not summer, but I don't want to look as pale as, you know, not my summer tan. I just kind of use this one. So it's like, okay, I'm not, I'm not that pale, but, you know. Just so, like, my face is even, you know, you don't want to just put eyeshadow on and your face looks dry or I don't know for me I feel like it's not like a complete look and I'm very particular with being complete okay so now I'm gonna use the Tarte concealer that I got in the glam bag there we go and just kinda oh underneath my eyes because uh, you know I say it all the time also I myself do like doing it around just so it kind of opens it up and it doesn't make oops it doesn't make me look like I'm totally <laughs> sunken in eyes now I'm going to use my moist sponge and dab it in. Yes, oh my gosh, I look awake. Yes, look at that, look at that. I'm not so sleepy looking. <laughs> there we go. I can see why people like tart. Like I said in the other video, Tarte, uh, the first time me ever using Tarte was 
from the glam bag. Pretty satisfied. I see why people like it. Cool. All right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go too intense with like contouring and everything like that just because I'm it's just kind of like a video for hey this is like a everyday look where it doesn't take you 30 to 40 minutes from the mirror doing your makeup <laughs> um, yeah. so now I'm gonna use the take me home or take home that bronze in color Thomas and um, like I said last time it's a powder bronzer normally I use liquid because I just I prefer liquid but I really liked this color so here we go I like to use bronzer in the same way as um, contouring because of my skin tone. Just because my skin tone can easily get bronze, like in sunlight and other things like that, I feel like for me to add on a, a bronzer Okay, so uh, my video camera cut off in the middle of what I was doing. So I believe it did catch me get the bronzer. But um, so basically I just did it right here as if I was contouring. But not so much like all over my face. Okay. So basically, I guess my camera was trying to tell me like, hey, <laughs> don't take so long. <laughs> Okay, um, now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I am using actually eyeshadow to do my eyebrows because sometimes I'll use gel, but sometimes if I'm just trying to be kind of quick I'll use I'll use eyeshadow because I'm not trying to like have it permanently on my face and I mess up <laughs> so I'm still working on using the gel I have pencil as well but I just, I like the precision of of the powder just because if I mess up it's not that difficult to fix and like I've said before I'm still learning and I'm using this as an outlet to get more ideas and You know, like when you join a club and you're like, oh, this is cool. You know, let me let me get more ideas from this. That's basically my whole idea.
Also, my eyebrows are always uneven just because naturally this one has weird hair growth. So me trying to like make it look even is always a battle. And like, I know eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But when you have one of the twins uglier than the other, you gotta do a little bit more extra work, a little extra work to make it at least look similar. Hopefully you're not the ugly twin. <laughs> oh. Could be worse. And then I also like to use eyebrow gel um, because it'll definitely stay there all day. So the video camera cut out after I had done the first set with the bronzer and everything and then the second set I was doing my eyebrows and my video camera didn't tell me, hey, your memory card is full, uh, you should stop filming. So this is just the aftermath of what I did. Uh, I did my eyeliner, I finished up my eyebrows, and then I did lip gloss. And I didn't really do too much else because honestly I wasn't going anywhere today so just you know wearing tank top and shorts whatever but um so I found out that the ipsy glam bag that I did a review on was actually October's so I should be getting November's sometime soon and I will be doing a video on that and reviewing everything and I'll do a aftermath video as well so um like you know showing the 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 products and everything like that and then actually using it on my face so i'll be doing two separate videos because it's easier with the type of camera i have but anyway i hope you guys enjoy hopefully i'll see you in my next video and you have a great day bye